Hey, what's up guys, Steven here and welcome back to another video from the EFA 2016. So today I want to present you one of my personal EFA highlights, the Lenovo Yoga Book. This device is a whole new thing and is really the best looking portable solution I've seen so far. So this is a 10 inch full HD clamshell device, powered by Windows or Android, which replaces the keyboard with a flat panel that works either with a stylus or touch input. The Yoga Book runs on an Intel Atom X5 CPU with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of expandable storage. Its build quality is simply stunning and it's fully made out of aluminum magnesium alloy. I was very very skeptical about the virtual keyboard because somehow typing on those usually feels awkward and kinda gets me hurting fingertip feeling. But on this one I was impressed. I did only type for like 5 minutes. So longer typing feels probably very strange, but still it was super responsive and felt not bad. And the vibration feedback made it even a little bit more comfortable. But I don't think that I would write longer articles on that one. Also the stylus, which does not need to be recharged, is included in the package and does a very good job in all kind of applications like OneNote, Paint, etc. The Lenovo Yoga Book detects 2000 levels of pressure for super accurate drawing and also lets you write on normal paper and saves a digital version on the Lenovo Book. Sounds pretty futuristic, right? So it's available for 499 with Android or 549 with Windows, but it's basically the same hardware. So I would buy the cheaper one and wait for a dual boot hack or ROM on XDA. I'm pretty sure it will be released soon. And yeah, you can find all the important specs down below in the description. Its build quality as said is stunning. It's less than 10mm thick because of the missing keyboard and it's super lightweight. The battery life seems to be really good since it's powered by a 8500mAh battery. But only my full review will tell. I honestly have to say I like the Windows version more since you can use it closed like a tablet and opened up like a desktop PC with some extra features. But also the Android version has some customization that allows you to run apps in multiple windows, etc. So my first impression, it looks great from the design and usability, but the specs are kind of low with the C8550. So still, if you keep the price in mind, if it would be from Apple, it would be at least one grand. And this one not, it starts at 499, so big thanks to Lenovo for making innovation affordable. All in all, I need to get this in October, just because I don't like tablets a lot, but also don't want to spend like a fortune on a Surface book. So stay tuned for my full review and subscribe that you don't miss it. Thanks for watching guys, comment down below and have a nice day, bye bye.